Uh, Matt, you're heading into your first uh, camp as, as an oiler. Um, what's this kind of like for you as a local product, and, and what's the summer been like anticipating this? It's obviously really exciting. Uh, it's a new chapter for me. I'm really excited to join this organization and be a part of a good group of guys that are uh, trying out for this team. Um, it's been a lot of work this summer trying to get ready for today. Today was pretty tough, so it's it's been good. How would you describe your journey to this point? Because you were drafted a few years ago, couldn't hammer out a deal in Boston. What was all of that like for you? It was it was fine. I mean, um, obviously, as a as a young player growing up, you want to play in the NHL, and I thought this was the best opportunity for me. And um, Boston's done a lot for me over the years, and. Um, we, we obviously can come up with something, but I'm um, just really excited to be here, um, part of a great organization that I grew up watching. What's the transition going to be like from college hockey to pro hockey? In, in your mind and from what you've heard and talking to probably your agent and, yeah. and uh, hockey executives and all of that? I think definitely the speed. Uh, we were skating out with, the, with some of the NHL guys here, with the other guys, and it's, it's definitely the speed. And um, they're all good players. They all can make plays. And you got to be f uh, razor sharp focused all the time and can't let your guard down for a minute. And you got to be ready all the time. What have you heard about the Young Stars Classic? And, and what do you expect this weekend when you finally get into some game action here? Yeah, talking to the, some of the guys like Christopher and Chase, they, they say it's an exciting time. Um, I know a lot of these guys around here, they're, they're from the area. and. Um, just no playing them, and it, it should be exciting. Um, obviously, I might, I might be one of the older guys, but it's just they're all still good players. They all they are all were drafted, and they're they're here for a reason. How would you describe yourself as a player? I'd say I'm a puck moving defenseman that uh, has some grit and um, can can jump up in the play and and be there offensively. Maybe not as much as I'm known for in my defensive game, but um, I take pride in the D zone. When you come to a camp like this, is that something that you really have to emphasize is that you can play in your own zone, I guess, and then the offense will kind of take care of itself? Yeah, for sure. I think that the, the guys around here are just, they're all really good players. And whether it's that short support pass, you know where guys are. Um, like some guys, some guys say when you get up in high ranks of hockey, it's almost easier to play because you know where the other guys are. So I, I think it should be fine. Uh, I just got to adjust to the speed and, and the strength of the players and kind of know where I need to be and that type of thing. Are you over the fact that you get to put on this jersey and this crest knowing that you grew up watching this team play, I guess, or is it still kind of exciting? I mean, obviously it's still exciting. Uh, the Oilers are a great organization and my dad played here and he loves it here and we just live out in St. Albert now. and. Um, I think it's exciting, but uh, obviously I'm excited to uh, get this rookie camp going and kind of uh, start my f my first chapter in the as a pro hockey player. What did your dad think when you signed here? Was he excited for you? He was excited, yeah. I mean, um, he he grew up, he knows a lot of the guys around here, but he, he was just excited for me that uh, my dream as a young kid kind of came true, and obviously there's a big jump until playing with a big club, but uh, I'm excited for that opportunity and for the challenge. How much influence does he still have in, in your game and in your life? Do you still talk every day and, and things like that or when you're in college? Yeah, in, in college a little bit. He's busy. He's, he's doing his own thing. And he, growing up, he would, he would harp on me all the time just to do this and this. Yeah. And at the time, I thought he was being hard on me. <laughs> yeah. But now I, I understand what, what, kind of, what kind of game uh, should be played and he, he knows that I kind of know if I make a mistake I know about it so he kind of just sits in the dark and if I need to ask him any questions and he's there for me. Is there pressure being the son of an NHLer to kind of follow in his footsteps and, and play in the league? Uh, yes and no I mean I think there's a lot of people rooting for our friends with my dad that are now rooting on me and maybe that's a little bit of pressure but um, I, I, I don't think there's any pressure on me. I just think that I just need to go out there and, and do my best and continue to develop and see where I go.